this is Alokthon Plays, and I wanted to do a video showing how to make short range teleporter relays. Uh, they added short range teleporters into the game in Beyond, uh, and then they made a fairly significant change to them in patch 2.13, where they changed the distance that the short range teleporters could go. Uh, they limited it to 2,000, I'm sorry, 200 U. So in order to get to far-flung places, a lot of people had to re remake their te teleporters, and in order to go to uh, distances further than 200 U, you had to make a series of relays. Here I am on a hydro garden planet. These from space scan as capped or fungal or sporal. Um, I happen to like these because they have a lot of the benefits of lush planets, uh, grass, and uh, good weather, usually, but they don't have things like exploding gas flora, and they don't have predators. Anyway, so here I am up on top of this mountain, and I have two hot spots that I want to reach. Where are they? So, I have a electromagnetic hotspot that's 700 U away, and I have a gold hotspot that's 400 U away. Now, if I were doing this for real, I would actually put the base between the two hotspots, but I happen to like the view up here, and the whole point of the video is to show that you can go a fair distance with these, so I'm going to put my base up here. First of all, I'm going to do a little trick that I learned from the No Man's Sky Reddit Discord in that I'm going to make a little bit of a hill here with my terrain manipulator. Yes, it's all ugly. Don't, don't worry about that. And I'm going to put my base computer on top of that. What this allows... <laughs> What this does is it allows me to put the base computer inside the building, and I'll show how I'll show you how to do that uh, real quick. So because it has it, it's on that little hill, I can slide a wooden platform under it. Now you'll notice that I have uh, I, I'm kind of zoomed out here. I hit the the, the build camera, which on PS4 happens to be the L3 stick, you press that in. Anyway, so I can slide that in there, and then my base computer is, for all intents and purposes, on the platform. I'm just gonna do... Next, I wanna show you where to get the blueprints for the short-range teleporters. the right bumper, L, uh, I'm sorry, R2, to move over. You can see you have the short range teleporter here. You also need the short, or the teleporter cable. A couple of other useful things to have here are do, 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 the power, specifically a solar panel and a battery. An electromagnetic generator are also good. I will also probably be using these things, the mineral extractor, the gas extractor, the supply depot, and the supply pipe here as well. Okay, I went offline and built up a whole bunch of infrastructure to make this a little bit easier. My base is a little bit bigger now. I added a supply depot to demonstrate something I want to do a little bit later. I have this pylon here, which I made out of decorations, the pipe. I'll use that a little bit later. I added on a cuboid room so I could use the trade terminal because I kept out, I kept running out of metal plates. I thought I had a ton, but I guess not. And I also built in some uh, uh, 
structures that you'll see a, a little bit later. Now I have a solar panel and a battery here uh, for now, but I am going to put everything on an EM hotspot a little bit later. Okay, so a couple of things. First of all, I want to put a custom waypoint underneath where I'm going to put my short-range teleporter. And you do that by turning on your scanner and then on the PS4 you hit square. I don't know what it is on the platform, but it's probably something similar. Now, you'll see that I have the spike coming up out through this area where I'm, I'm going to put my short-range teleporter. And it tells me, if I get far away enough, how far away I am from, from that. Well, I wonder how far away you have. Okay, so I'm 22U away from it. Because, as I mentioned before, the distance between the short-range teleporters has to be under 200U. I picked a bad place to do this because the topography seems to be being taken into account. I didn't think it would be, but it is. So I'm going to put a short-range teleporter here, and I'm going to connect it to a, an, a, a wire point I put there earlier. Okay. Now I'm going to take my handy-dandy Nomad, and I'm going to go about 150 U away to this platform that I built. I was gone. So if I stand here, you'll see that it shows my custom marker to be 157 U away. But if I did this further away, it was giving me a two months distance error. So this is where I'm going to end up putting the platform. But you can see how useful those custom markers are for, for measuring distances. If you're trying to measure distances and you need more than one marker, you can use your exocraft because it will show you how far away you are from your current exocraft. And you can also use your ship. So I'm going to put a short range teleporter here. And then I'm going to go to ah, the industrial build section and I'm going to select the teleporter cable and I'm going to connect that. Notice I haven't put power to this short range teleporter yet. I'm going to show you a trick in here in a second. Unfortunately, this is a bit of a long climb. You'll notice that I have this blue sprite in front of me. That's the teleporter cable showing me where it is. So I snap in the cable, and you'll notice that the, you now have this light blue or teal-ish turquoise color uh, line that goes that's that's a direct line to where your paired teleporter is now remember I didn't power the other teleporter yet if I walk through this one here I am it's just like the base teleporter in that you can use it you can go to it if it's with without power but we like power because we like to be able to move places so I'm going to hook this up so, I am 158U from my base, and my mine is down there. That says it's 225U, that's a little bit too far, so you'll see that I have another platform down there. I walk through this one, you'll see that this sprite heads down there, walk in here, and now I'm that much closer to my mine. This is the one that connects up there. I'm now 328U from my base. That sprite heads up the hill. That sprite heads down the hill. 
And now we're at my mine. Gold mine. It's not powered yet, so I won't have any gold there. But this bright goes off here. That's because over there, 300 you away, I have my electromagnetic hotspot. And here's my electromagnetic hotspot with wires hanging in the air. See, I'm using these pipes as pylons just to make things a little bit easier. I used to put all of my wires uh, un uh, underground, but that just turned out to be too much of a hassle, so I've stopped doing it. Now the reason I have this here, remember that I don't have power at my mine. So, I'm going to grab an electrical cable, and then I'm going to walk through this teleporter, which is going to take me to my mine. I lied. I walked through that teleporter, and it took me to this relay station I have here. And I'm actually going to connect this teleporter to that wire that I brought through. And then I'm going to connect that to this teleporter, and I can delete I just did. I strung a cable from there to there in a split second. I'll do it again. Connect. I'm going to walk through this teleporter, which goes to my mine, which is right over there. Walk through. Here I am. I still have my cable. Connect that to my teleporter. And I can delete the batteries. These two are already connected, but I can delete battery. I can also run this cable ugly, but I can connect it to my mineral extractor which is now extracting gold. Again, I'm going to create, I'm going to connect the cable. Go to my next connection. Connect it. Disconnect the old system. You'll notice I lost power here, but I still have my teleporter cable connected. same thing. Connect this. Oops, missed it. Take my new cable. And now I'm at my base. delete and connect everything else I need to connect from my EM hotspot which is way over there somewhere at 700 U away that way now I mentioned this pylon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump up a little bit higher. Ah, structures. This is going to be as ugly as all get out, but we don't care because it's just temporary. I realized I'd forgotten something at my relay stations, and so I went and built some things really quick offline. So here we go again. I'm going to go up here, 
We are losing light. I apologize for that. It's almost like this was, was real life. Luckily, it's not. Okay, we want to go get our supply pipe. Put it on top of the decorative pipe. Go to our first station here. And I built... another series of pipes here. Oops, I missed. I seem to be hurting myself a lot. Don't mind me. Put that on top of there. This is just the way I string pipes. People are, of course, welcome to do it however they want. Going to my next stop. Another pylon somewhere. Where to go? Oh, there it is. So you'll see I'm stringing pipes across the nation. But again, I'm doing it all as I walk through. short-range teleporters so you don't have to do nearly as much walking back and forth put that there and snap it in so I now have 2250 units of storage on this system because I just added the thousand that are back at my base. Now let's go delete these things that I made that are as ugly as all heck. Now, I usually use these pylons that I just built and I put the electrical cables on top of them as well. So they run parallel and almost within the supply pipes. I'm not doing that here just because this video is long enough as it is. Again, we can delete the thing we use to get up high. And now we're back at our base. And instead of having to go all 700 U, or I'm sorry, four, I don't know, four or 500 U to our mine, we can teleport here using our base teleporter and collect our gold. I think that includes everything I wanted to show about how to make short range teleporter relays. I, uh, I tend to put these little walls around everything. It's not necessary on this planet, but if you're building on a planet that has a lot of predators, just having that short wall will almost always prevent the predators from coming after you. It also almost always uh, prevents sentinels from coming after you. Um, if you happen to be on a planet where the sentinels really like to kill you. I mentioned that I have a tutorial about this already on Reddit, which I will link in the description. But there are a couple of things uh, I wanted to mention that are also in the, the tutorials. The short range teleporters can be run from any power source. It used to be, briefly, that they had to be on the same po power grid. But that has changed with patch 2.13, and you saw that these were working both powered from the EM hotspot and from solar panels. As long as they're connected with the teleporter cable, they're fine. Another thing that I wanted to mention at is that they cannot cross base boundaries. This is because power can't cross base boundaries. However, you can put a short-range teleporter relay at a base boundary. So for instance, I could have this 
everything on this side belonged to a base over here and powered by a base over there. And everything on this side in a base over here and powered in a base over here. I've done this and it's very handy to be able to move from base to base via short range teleporters that are at the boundary. The short range teleporters can be placed almost anywhere. As you can see, they can be placed on wood flooring. They can also be put in uh, cube, uh, cubicle rooms, which is what I use to put relays under water. And as I've already shown, you can, const you can carry construction uh, parts through them. The wires and the supply pipes can be carried through the short range teleporters, which makes building an outlying mine much, much easier. Anyway, um, I hope if someone finds this useful at all. Uh, I thank you for watching to the end, and if you'd like, you can subscribe or, you know, not. I end up posting almost all of my videos to the No Man's Sky subreddit on No Man's Sky, so you can see them there if you happen to read Reddit. Uh, thank you for your time, and have a great day. One final note I forgot to mention earlier on, you'll see that I have these yellow bits of wall scattered around. Those are left over. Those are left over from when I actually did the base boundary expansion that allowed it allows me to build anywhere further than 300U away from the base. 300U is usually the base boundary, but if you build things slowly away, which is what those walls are for, then you can expand the boundary out to about a thousand U. I will put a link in the description about how to do that as well. I'll probably put one, there's one on Reddit and one on Steam. They're equally good, although in different ways. I tend to leave the walls there, at least for a while, because sometimes the boundary kind of contracts and it's nice to have those there just to make the rebuilding easier. If the boundary contracts on you, first of all, just try to save and reload your game. That 99% of the time, that brings it back. If it doesn't, reload again. If that doesn't bring it back, then try to uh, rebuild it using the walls that are already there. Again, thank you very much.